on one side we want to maximize patients chance of getting all the cancer out and the other side we want to come so close to the cancer that the nerves are saved interrelationship between prostate cancer surgery and sexual function is very close and uh, have been studied by several experts um, over last uh, decades now when the technology has evolved we have uh, a luxury of seeing things in a little bit more detail uh, but the basic tenets have not changed uh, sexual dysfunction after prostate cancer surgery predominantly is a function of damage or interference of the neural pathways but could also be because of blood vessels which are there may be damaged on one side we want to maximize patient's chance of getting all the cancer out and the other side we want to come so close to the cancer that the nerves are saved so if i can i would first try to get all the cancer out achieving that goal if i can still come safely close to the nerves and save them yes but not in a re reverse order and that is one of the challenges and uh, uh, we have been working on several mechanism but challenges are technical but luckily with the vision and uh, luckily with the technology which we have now we can make those adjustments as long as patient and i have had that discussion that in a new event only one thing is possible we know which one is that one thing